I'm Susan Berkeley from GreatVoice.com with this week's Inside VoiceOver Video E Newsletter. This week, I want to revisit a, a problem that's on a lot of voice talent's mind, and it is the question of mouth noise. I've got some updated information, and I'm thinking about it because I'm about to go into the studio and redo my voiceover demo. So I want to make sure that I have as little mouth noise as possible. Now there's a lot of stuff that you can do technically with microphone placement and after the voiceover is recorded, you know, getting in there with the tool and removing the mouth noise manually. But I prefer to make sure that you minimize it at the source, right? So there's a few new things that I'm going to try this time that I wanted to share with you because you need to have them in your voiceover success tool bag. The first is apples, green Granny Smith apples. So bring them with you whenever you do voiceover. Sometimes the studio has it, but you know, you can't count on that. So stick a, a green Granny Smith apple in your purse or your backpack. The second is apple juice. Now it is high in calories, it's very sweet, but people say that that also works very well for cutting mouth noise. The third thing is good old water. Make sure the water is warm and sip on it frequently throughout your session. I've seen people talk about iced tea. That is a terrible thing for getting rid of mouth noise. It might have a short-term effect. It might cut through some of the phlegm, but the, the fact that an iced beverage is really constrictive to the uh, muscles of speech, so I really don't suggest that. And the tea itself can, the tannic acid can kind of dry out your throat. And then the last suggestion is a humidifier. So uh, in the summer we have the air conditioning blasting, in the winter we have the heat. The, all those things are really, really bad for the sound of your voice. So uh, you can, in extreme circumstances, such as when you're recording an audiobook or doing a long session, actually put a humidifier right next to you or in the voice booth, and that's something you're going to want to bring with you to sessions as well, if it's that important. Don't worry about looking weird. You are the talent. You've got to do a great job, all right? I hope that helps, and I'll let you know how it goes.